out of nowhere. Just whoop, Dark Aether Bunny. And then you just toss them away, which is going to give us bad box RNG. It's finally here. The long-awaited zombies theme bundle with stat-changing weapons is finally in Cold War after having its main operator removed, getting reworked. This was supposed to be the Ravenoff bundle. He's no longer in it, but for a zombies fan, there's still a lot in this bundle. This being the Tracer Pack Death Approach bundle, fight back the hordes of death with the Tracer Pack Death Approach bundle coming with the Scythe, a companion killer bunny finishing move, red tracer fire explosive dismemberment and explosive element damage in the zombies mode starting off you get a blueprint for the scythe which is now actually unlockable this being the blood bunny which has some blood on a little buddy symbol just skip and hop to detach a limb with the blood bunny scythe that's interesting we got the death hair pellington sniper rifle which looks pretty cool there's a lot going on with this got kind of a carbon fiber look there then we've got the grim fate with the AK-74U, uh, both of these are stat changing. The Scythe isn't, but the Pellington and the AK-74U. Then we have this finishing move. Uh, yeah. Very interesting companion finishing move. That's pretty sick. Then we've got the bounce counter. Keep track of how many hops it will take to get to cover with the functional step track. Oh, it, wait, it's called the bounce counter, but it doesn't count your jumps. It counts your steps. That's kind of annoying. We've got the bunny mask charm, which is pretty cool. We've got the true form calling card. Usually I don't care about calling cards and bundles, bro. This one's sick. I have a feeling this is going to be the final calling card I use here in Cold War. I mean, as a Zombies fan, bro, yeah, th this might be the final calling card we use and don't switch it. And you also get the Cursed Doll Emblem. Once again, for a Zombies fan, this is sick. Then we've got the Magic Trick Gesture. Bro. Bro, this is, this is what I'm saying. Even, dude, for a Zombies fan, there's so much in this bundle. Starting off with the blueprint of the Scythe, and it, it's just so weird using this in-game. It's so weird. I feel like we've been talking about this for so long. Being able to just buy and unlock the Scythe right now in Cold War, something about it just feels wrong. It looks pretty sick. It's got blood all over the blade. It's got, like, bones of a bunny on the side. You can even see the skull, which is kind of cool. Almost looks like a sticker, but it's not. Uh, not the coolest blueprint for a melee weapon we've seen in Cold War. Obviously, the cane had a cool one. The mace had a cool one. This one's kind of meh, but still pretty sick. I uh, I like it. I wonder if the blood stays when we pack a bunch of it. We're going to be pack a bunch of it, putting camos on. And if the blood stays... All right, that's going to be pretty sick. It's what it looks like when you swing it. But there's also other extremely cool stuff. So we got the bunny charm, like the bunny mask charm on it, which you can barely see it. That's not even the coolest part. If we go ahead, get rid of the face cam. Dude, the calling card and emblem you get is just so perfect for Cold War Zombies fans. You got the bunny popping up. You got the masked bunny. But I think probably the single coolest thing in this bundle is the magic tricky. Why is the scythe in my hands? What? What? Wait, wait, hold up. Huh? 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 What the heck? Bro, why is the scythe in my... Okay, I think that's a bugged animation. Let's pull out our hands and try that. So this is what it's supposed to look like. Bro, that's so sick. Let me turn up the volume. Oh, it makes a little... It makes a little rattling noise when he waves his hand. That's sick, bro. That's probably one of the single coolest parts of this entire bundle. Is this magic? It, for some reason, it breaks with the scythe. But you can legitimately pull out the Dark Aether Bunny out, out of your hat, out of nowhere. Just whoop, Dark Aether Bunny. And then you just toss them away, which is going to give us bad box RNG. Then we have the uh, watch, which, oh my God, you can barely see it. And I originally thought this was going to count when you jumped, but it doesn't. It only counts steps, which we've already taken 500 steps this game. Then we have the blueprints that come with this bundle, both of which are stat changing in zombies and come with death effects, starting off with the AK-74U, which already has like a million blueprints here in Cold War. This being the Grim Fate. So let's go ahead check it out Ooh, got a nice little like red gradient blood hue if we can get it in more of a lighter area that looks sick i wonder if you're going to even be able to notice it once it's packed though if you look at the bottom left we actually have shatter blast on this weapon this is how it's stat changing it spawns in with a pseudo version of shatter blast uh meaning it's not going to activate the actual explosion but any boss that's weak to shatter blast you're going to be doing additional damage so if you're playing outbreak you're going to be doing extra damage to panzers right off the get-go same thing Howard or Toten on 
round 10 when you get that very first panzer this is going to be doing more damage since you're not going to have pack a punch open yet it also has uh an explosion tracer fire which is kind of cool and if we shoot zombies in the face you're also going to see that nice explosion pattern as well this isn't the coolest tracer fire ever compared to some of the stuff we've seen in vanguard vanguard tracer fires are kind of crazy and this is nothing compared to that but compared to the other tracer fires we see in cold war i mean this is pretty decent all right now let's see how these weapons look one they're pack a punch so here's the ak7 for you and oh you okay that's kind of cool i'll take that in the light same thing let's go ahead do this scythe and let's just you know what take it right upstairs into a brighter environment that's gonna be the best course of action because we're not on a map with oh it's kind of dark down here in pack so if we go up here uh you can see a little bit of carbon fiber stuff right above the magazine but other than that this blueprint pretty much looks like a normal ak74 with you when you pack a punch it as for the scythe yeah all the blood's gone you can tell this isn't the default scythe the default scythe doesn't have all those holes it doesn't have a little cloth there so the scythe you're actually still going to see a difference once it's packed but uh as for the other blueprints you're not really going to see anything here's how the pellington looks once again it's got that carbon fiber look with like that blood red on it i'm wondering if anything's going to stay once we pack a punch the pellington oh okay so with the pellington you actually keep more than what you did for the ak7 for you once again it's not a ton there's really not a point of using this blueprint if you're going to pack a punch it besides the stat changing effects the scope stays red you've got a little bit of the carbon fiber on the top but the rest of it gets covered by the camo the bunny companions actually just a tiny little bunny in the menu that's got blood all over its face you know what that is pretty freaking intimidating but yeah you equip the finishing move and oh you can't well you you can't see it half the time because unfortunately it's got to do a full oh maybe no it's got to fully zoom out for oh ah ah it's got to fully zoom out for you to be able to see the bunny there he is look at look at him go look at him go all right i'm excited for this part let's see what the finishing move looks like Bro, that's ridiculous. All right, now let's try it while laying down. Okay, that one's a lot cooler. I like it a lot better when they're laying down. All right, this is what it looks like when someone else finishes you with it. Oh my God, they just release a rabbit and it just, oh. Yeah, that's pretty sick. All right, as for the death effects here in MP, if you shoot someone in the face, uh, it just kind of explodes and they've got like molten lava coming out of their face. You don't really get to see this on the zombies. That's one thing about Cold War is sometimes there's effects that only work on the MP side of things. Let's see if we shoot an arm off. Uh, yeah, once again, I uh, got the red effect. Their arm came off and now it's like a molten lava arm. Uh, kind of interesting. What about their legs? I haven't tried the legs yet. All right, so we shoot the leg. Oh, yep, the leg comes off too. And it's just, it's just lava. It's just, it's just pure lava. That's it. I wish this worked like that in zombies. That's pretty cool. We've also got the magic. Oh, dude, I love this. Oh, look, you can see him just eat the bunny. Hold on, do it again, dude. Look, he just, he just takes it out of the hat and he's just like, and gone. <laughs> it's just, he just... Bro, he, he yeets on oh, and it disappears midair, bro. This gesture might be my favorite thing out of this entire bundle. The red color on these blueprints are a lot more vibrant on a bright MP map like Nuketown. I think they look fantastic. The only issue is they just don't work really well with Pack-A-Punch, our camo, same thing. The blood on the scythe looking fantastic. It just, it all goes away if you put a camo on it. And then here's what the Pellington looks like on a brighter map as well. Now let's really quickly go over how mastery camos look like on these blueprints. We're not gonna load them in game because it's, there's not much going on here. So with gold, you're going to see the logo. Diamond covers up pretty much everything. DM Ultra covers up everything. I mean, yeah. Unfortunately, with the scythe, we wouldn't even be able to load them in if we wanted to because the scythe just came out. I don't have DM Ultra R Dark Aether unlocked on the scythe yet, but don't worry. Whenever we do end up locking it, we'll have a dedicated video unlocking DM Ultra. And at the end of that video, we'll show off all three mastery camos. Diamond looking pretty sick. Going over the zombies camo, which once again, we're going to unlock Dark Aether and have a dedicated video on that. Plague Diamond, bro, might be my favorite. Something about Plague Diamond on the scythe. Kind of just looking pretty sick. Then we have the AK-74 U, and I'm pretty sure it's just going to cover up the... In yeah, it's kind of weird. You see a little bit of gold there. Yeah, camos just don't look good on any of these. The scythe, though. The scythe looks good with camos. Yeah, all right, here we go. Warzone time. This is the AK-74 U in Warzone. I guess the blood looks a little bit different. I guess it's a little more shiny here. Here's what the scythe looks like. Kind of what we expected. Let's go ahead and see the tracers. Definitely got the exploding effects. And, uh, oh, the... Uh, I don't think the bunny thing works. I said it to me. Okay, let's try it. What? All right, here we go. New lobby. Let's see if we go and no. Every single 
little area I put the bunny hat trick on, it just disappears. So as of right now, the bunny gesture doesn't work in Warzone. You can see it in the menu and you can put it on a spot. But if you put it on a spot, you don't see anything when you load in game. All right, now let's see what the death effect looks like when you kill someone. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Come this way. And boom, big explosion. So yeah, it kind of what we expected. Sorry for the FOV. I have to play on my Xbox because my account doesn't work on the PC or uh, PS5 right now. So yeah, if you go to customization, gestures and spray, you can see this is the magic trick bunny. But if you put it on a spot, it just deletes. <laughs> It just clears out the entire wheel. So now we have nothing. So uh, yeah, the bunny thing. Watch And If we try something else like this, uh, it actually shows up. So as of now, the magic trick doesn't work in Warzone at all. And unfortunately, it looks like with the bunny finishing move, it doesn't show up in the Warzone menu. So if you're looking to have the Warzone pet in the menu, as of right now, you're not going to get that with this bundle. Here's what the Pellington looks like in Warzone. Once again, the red seems to be a lot darker in this version on both of these blueprints. I like that a lot, dude. Stop shooting me. All right, here we go. This is what the finishing move looks like in Warzone. All right, pretty sick. Wish we could have actually finished getting it off, but you know. All right, here we go. Second time's the charm. Release the bunny. And bunny finishes him off. So that's pretty much everything to show off here in Warzone. Overall, I really like this bundle. As a Zombies fan, this bundle has a lot to offer. Honestly, just the Dark Aether bunny references alone are enough for me. Unfortunately, a lot of this stuff doesn't seem to work in Warzone, like showing off in the menu or the hat trick emote doesn't show up at all. But uh, I think overall, I'm going to give this a rank of a probably a 7 out of 10. I can't really give it higher than that because it doesn't have an Ultra skin. But if you're a Zombies fan, there's a lot of value in this. It's just that I like the emote in and of itself. I like the finishing move. I like all the Dark Aether Bunny references. So that's why I'm giving it such a high ranking. But keep in mind, my ranking doesn't mean a lot. If you like this bundle and you like what's in it, it's very subjective. If you don't like it, then you don't like it. That's why we showcase every little bit of it. That way you can make your own informed decision. If you guys want to see more bundle reviews like the one you just watched, make sure to sub to the channel. We review every notable bundle on this channel, showing every little detail. That way you guys can make an informed decision before you buy. If you love the like or a comment, I appreciate you a ton. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.